Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me today. Today, we're going to walk through a public data demonstration, uh, which is one way you can find more information about SLF recipients and how they are using their funds for eligible use uh, projects. We're going to start today on our homepage, which is headed State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds. You can see it on the screen now. If you're not already familiar with this page, I would encourage you to get familiar with it uh, because it has very important information about the program, including policy guidance, uh, reporting guidance, such as the compliance and reporting guidance uh, and project and expenditure report user guides, some demonstrations, some frequently asked questions, as well as some additional policy guidance. Today, we're going to walk through our public data page, which is located as on the drop-down menu on the left-hand side of, of the screen. If you navigate to that page, it'll take you to here, where you can scroll down and see our most recently released public data, which at the time of this recording is April 2024. You'll notice there are three resources that you can click on. The first is a reporting analysis and blog for the quarter or annual reporting cycle. The second is a dashboard, which is a user-friendly way to sort through the full data set, which is the third resource. Today, we're going to go to the dashboard. If you click on it, it may take a while to load because it is a very large data set. It'll bring you to this landing page uh, which you can click on specific states to get a few examples. You can also go on the top right-hand corner to the summary page, which goes through some top-line data related to the uh, reporting period, what has been reported to us in this specific reporting period in question. And then you can go through the recipients tab, which uh, contains every SLFRF recipient. Here, you'll notice that there are a few uh, fields that you can sort through the recipients. You can sort through uh, state or territory. You can sort through recipient type, which are uh, local government, state or DC, and then territorial governments. You can also sort through recipient reporting tier, tier one, tier two, or tier five. Uh, and if you uh, hold your mouse over uh, each specific tier, you can gain information about what each tier means. Uh, you can also sort by specific recipient name. I'm from Oklahoma, so that's what we're going to use as today's example, the city of Oklahoma City. You can understand uh, what reporting tier they are. So they are tier one and they're a local government is their recipient type. You can see that um, their total allocation was 122.5 uh, 122 million. The number of projects that they've reported to us and some information about claiming revenue loss standard allowance and their estimated revenue loss for each year. If you navigate now to the projects tab in the upper right-hand corner, this is every project that has been reported to Treasury. So again, you can sort by state or territory, recipient type, recipient reporting tier, or specific recipient name. You can also uh, sort by expenditure category group or expenditure category. So today, or as an example, we're going to um, look at some work workforce projects. So that is expenditure category group two, negative economic impacts. So if you select that, that is every um, project that has been categorized under this category group. So negative economic impacts, and you can see the specific expenditure categories here. But then you can um, sort additionally by uh, workforce projects by selecting expenditure category group 2.10. So we're going to do that. This is all of the um, workforce projects that were reported to us under expenditure category 2.10. Uh, 
Again, you can sort by state, territory, recipient type, recipient reporting tier, or specific recipient name. We're going to use Oklahoma City as the example again. Here you can see that they have uh, reported one workforce project under this expenditure category 2.10. You can gain additional information about the adopted budget, total obligations and expenditures, um, the completions status. So uh, for this reporting period, they indicated that it has not been started. You can also um, read through the project description on the side here. So that is our... Um, dashboard um, and that is one way that you can find more information about um, how recipients uh, are using their allocated SLFRF funding. I will note a couple of things. First, as mentioned, the dashboard is a user-friendly way to sort through this data, but if you want to dig deeper, you can actually download the uh, full Excel sheet with uh, all the data that has been reported to us by clicking here. And I'll note that this is a very big um, uh, data set. There are over 30,000 SLFRF recipients and each reports a number of project to us. So this is a very big um, data set, may take a while to uh, download and sort through, but if you're familiar with Excel, uh, you'll be able to um, sort through the information in any way that um, is possible through Excel. I'll also note that at the end of the day, this is data that has been reported to us by recipients in the, in the way that they uh, choose to do so. Um, and so we at Treasury take that project and expenditure report data that recipients share, we clean it up, we put it on our website, but different places can report uh, projects and information under slightly different categories. So for example, some recipients may have chosen to report workforce projects under the revenue loss um, category 6.1, as opposed to assistance to un, uh, unemployed workers, category 2.10. So that concludes our data demonstration today. Thank you again for joining, um, and I hope it was helpful uh, for you.